Hi, Bill here, and today we'll be, we'll be reviewing Transformers Generations Studio Series World War II Bumblebee. And here he is here. You can see it there. You get another an awful lot of reflection coming off that plastic, but there he is there. Now I got this from B and M stores. I think that's been out for some time. It's been known that these are appearing at B and M stores, deluxe class. Studio series number 26. There's the thing in the back. It's showing them there. Look pretty cool. There's other ones you can get in the studio series line, and you can get use the background as a display option. There's another uh, product shot. Well, there's a art what box art there. And uh, they haven't been on here for a while because they haven't uh, because of the coronavirus and everything going on and whatever. Um, I don't even know if I'm getting my seasonal job or not. That's unknown at, the, at this point in time in doing this video, but that's another story we're doing about that we're doing a review of this figure. Uh, but so I haven't been getting figures because <laughs> obviously uh, finances are limited. So. This is just adjust that. So let's go on with opening this up and see what we've got. Okay. So here he is out the package. Now you also get his hammer and you get his gun as well. Looking pretty cool. There it is there. So it's out of focus. I wish it would focus in in the foreground. There it is there. Detailed. I don't know what that bit is there. And there. And it can move that way and you can rotate it and it can move down to form the scout car scout car gun. So you do have that rotational joint, uh, angle joint there on it, and the gu the guns like this. See there, there, just there through different colours, painted silver, and of course you get instructions, instructions there as well. Okay, so the usual MacGuffin you get with these things. So let's see what we can see with this figure. I'll bring it up close. <coughs> done with these reviews for a while he does have issues standing he doesn't have much of his heel things that if they don't if they're not flush and they're properly see that uh, it's trouble standing it wants to fall over uh, I don't know if that's just mine or if it's other people's have issues with that too uh, but certainly is a bit of a problem so it may not, it may fall over when I put it down, that's what I'm saying. So <laughs> just expect it or I'll try and rest it against the back wall or something. But um, it does not want to stand up. I wish the heels were better and you could actually get a better heel. It's supposed to have that as a heel, but it doesn't always work. It wants to fall backwards. Okay, so there he is there. Nice head sculpt. Really nice robot mode. The alt mode suffers on this, I think. The scout car, the armoured scout car mode, uh, I think is where it fails, but the robot mode is just superb, apart from the huge big backpack on it. But uh, if you to take that off, which you can't, but if you could, it would be a really nice robot mode. The robot mode looks really cool from that scene in the, the last night, but you can see the detailing on it. Can have a zoom it in. Nice blue eyes, nice detailing. Number 10 there. It's really, really nice. The way the engineering of where the, the wheel goes inside the leg like that is really nice. I like that. See a lot of studio series has that sort of engineering. Yes, there's a huge backpack there. That's the issue. Uh, and probably leads to why it wants to fall over all the time, as well as not having the best of uh, heels on it. Uh, the head's nice, nice blue, it can rotate, it's in a ball joint, it can look up and down, 
issues with the head going down and transformation purposes, it gets stuck on the on the bit it lowers down into sometimes to try and get it up and down. So uh, it's, it, it's definitely full of little nitpick issues with this figure. Hands are okay. Uh, they do bend. Ugh, they were really stiff on mine, but they do bend. Well, that one bends that far. And it does has a rotational joint there as well. Uh, the upper bits and a, and and another thing is it likes to come out of there. It's supposed to peg into there, and it likes to ride out of there. That's the other issue with this. It doesn't stay pegged into that chest section. It likes to come out, and it won't not stay in. And because when you rotate the arm, it unpegs itself. But anyway, what we'll do that it goes in and out. Usual rotational, rotational joint there. You can, but it's really stiff in mine. It loosens. It might loosen up over time. You get that. Same with the other leg. No waist rotation. Oh, there is. A, sorry, sorry. I'll start again. There is a waist rotation but because of the backpack. It's limited. If you lift the backpack out, you probably would get more of a waist rotation, but it's not that. It's still, there's still some resistance there. I think because of that part there, that part at the front, the crotch piece, you're still, it's still hitting against it. Uh, so even with the backpack up, you're still not getting full waist rotation. You're getting a little, but you're not getting much. You're getting even less with the backpack there. Uh, legs, ball joint, usual. You can do a KO if it's that way. <clears throat> it can do that. And come down like that. It can do that. Out and in. Uh, it rotates there, but it doesn't rotate at the lower part of the leg. It doesn't do anything there. And that's it. Looking really cool. I'll put his gun in his hand. And I'll put the axe in the other. It's supposed to hold it somewhere. Uh, I think it goes in that way. You can have it like that. <coughs> and have them fire. But like I said, ah, right, that, that counterbalances it. If you have the weapons in it, it counterbalances it going backwards. So... You're better having the weapons in his hand and then standing it up because it acts as a counterbalance when it doesn't have anything in the hands. It wants to fall over backwards. So that acts as a counterbalance, okay? And it will stand. It will not stand securely, but it will stand. <coughs> so that's him. Okay. Uh, give me a minute. And size comparison, here he is next to Deluxe Combiner Wars Brawl, here he is there, slightly bigger, it's a slightly smaller Deluxe, see what I mean, that this thing wants to fall backwards, it does not have the best of standing, so uh, he's slightly bigger, you know he's angled a wee bit, and the legs just want to... So that's the best I can do. So yeah, brawl's slightly taller, but they shoulder bits. But it is, did say deluxe in the box, but this is obviously smaller. They're making Transformers smaller now, like the Siege. The leader's almost like a Voyager class now. Um, so that's that. That's him there. And of course, the other one I've got, which I didn't, which I'll come to, is his, is um, World War Two hotshot. Uh, Hot, uh, hot rod, hot shot, hot rod. I've got him. Yeah, I didn't review him because he's got a quality control issue, which I'll get to when I get to the vehicle mode. That's why I didn't bother reviewing it. I didn't think it would be worthy of doing a review with that issue. So 
but we'll get to that. But there he is there, you can see the differences. Uh, if I hold them up, you can see the differences. And um, design, the chest is different. The chest is definitely different. You can see the chest is slightly different. It's got different designs on it. Uh, different design there, there. The parts are different. Obviously the colouring, the markings on it is different as well. The tampographs. He's got shoulder sections on him. He hasn't. <clears throat> he's got shoulder guards on him. The other one hasn't. Uh, the legs are basically the same. And obviously the back the backpack is basically the same. Uh, the arms are basically the same apart from that one's got shoulder guards. But uh, the chest is completely different. Obviously the head's different. And the colouring and the tampo grass. So yes, that's that's the difference which is between this. And this one can stand a bit better than the uh, when it's not slipping on my surface than this one can but there they are together looking really cool and we'll get it into it now i don't have to transform them both in front of the camera because they're both off the same mold okay they both transform exactly the same fashion or same way so i only need to do one which is going to be the bumblebee one okay right okay i'll do that now let's get into it so take that out oh before I do that, it does come with this diorama, you can stand them on it, and there he is there, standing on the diorama with the scene from World War II and the last night, I could put him on that, so you do have that, I, I tend not to keep these, they're just a kind of throwaway thing, okay, so there we are, so let's get this thing transformed to the end of the video. Take them off, put them aside. Right, first thing you want to do, if you haven't already unhooked, you unhook these parts from the chest, side chest sections, you lift this up. Now that's another issue, clearance issues with this section compared to that. Uh, we'll get to that in a minute. You take these wheels out. And in the back you just pull them out forward it's in a double hinge section here so I don't know why this likes to dim out uh, you close the fists in close the fists in and do that and they're unhooked so what you want to do is you bring this whole section down like this and the head disappears now sometimes the head when bringing it back up will get caught in there and it'll get caught in the back of there like I say you've got to wiggle about and raise the head up if we can get the whole thing up into place like that so there's issues raising it up lowering it's all right but raising it up it likes to get caught on little bits around that uh, opening so it does like to get caught in the chin guard, likes to get caught on that open piece there. So you have to watch for that. It's not the best. Um, right, let's get this done. You rotate this. It's, uh, they both rotate at the same time. But you can see how I'm having the issue there. It, it doesn't want to... There's no clearance. Uh you have to try and pull them down and get it past this section here. It's not easy. <clears throat> you have to move them out the road and move them wide as you can and get this moved forward as best you can. But when you do manage to get it through there, there is a hell of a clearance issue trying to get these past there. It is flexible enough to do it, but I don't know over time that whether that's becoming that whether that becomes an issue or not, I don't know. But it's getting it past there. 
these corner bits, getting these past there, the hinge parts is is difficult. It's it's not easy. It's flexible enough. It's plastic. It will give. It's flexible enough to push it past it, but you've got you've got to wrestle with it. <clears throat> There's no easy way because this bit doesn't move out the road. You can't extend it to clear to give a better clearance. It's just the way that it is. It's a pain in the butt. Uh, but you just got to try and do it. Now when you move that round there like that, you want it there. So you have them there like that. And that just sits there like that. Right, now onto this bit. Um you want to oops, I nearly had that off screen. Right, what you want to do here, you want to Unhook them, lift them wheels up like that, snap them into place. You want to push that there like that, and that goes over there. Now there's nothing this clips into. There's no bit this clips into. It just sits in there. There is a tab there, which I thought would go into a bit there, but... It doesn't quite reach because that hits against there and you can't push it. Uh, you would end up breaking it or damaging it or whatever. But um, there's nothing in that tab. I would have loved it if there was a piece there that it, it could tab into. But there's no way to get that tab to reach. So, And pushing down on it, yeah, it's, you're getting resistance with that bit there. So it just sits there uh, friction-like, which isn't the best. There's nothing, there's no way to secure that in there. Uh, that's another annoyance. Told you there's little nitpicks with this. It's not the it's not the best. So you rotate that down, you rotate it like that, you bring the wheel up like this, and you push it down in there like that. And it, it's just friction, which I don't like. I'd rather it tabbed in. There's a tiny tab there which fits into nothing. So you close these over, you just peg them together. And you, you tab this in there like that, and it's all supposed to, it's just all supposed to tab together, which, there we go, it's all tabbed together. Right, the arm one's pretty um, fiddly, so I'll show you how to do this. You rotate this bit round, now there's a part here I'll show you, you rotate that round with the fist facing out, I'd rather the fist were facing in. Because there's only one way you can put this onto the bit I'm going to put it onto. I'd draw the fists were facing in. There's a clearance in the middle there to put both fists. To. But the way this is designed, you can't do that. It has to go one way only. Okay, so you have th this alcove piece here. That cut out, cut out part there. And it fits over them parts there you can see it's got a tiny wee i don't know if i can focus that in it's got a tiny wee uh t it's just ever so slight it's you'll probably not even pick it up it's it has got two little lip bits uh that extend out either side of that you're gonna uh there's a specific way you do this you're gonna have it there and slide it in you don't push it down over you come in from the side and you slide it in, and that's how you secure it. Okay, do the same with the other side. Uh, that's why it only goes one way. The reason I say with the fist, because the fist hit against the panelling there, when the panel comes down over it, hits against it, and sometimes it dislodges it from that peg that that slides onto, it dislodges it, and it all comes out, and it's, it, it believe me, it's not the best of figures. <laughs> Far from it, um. But you just you 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 could. I'll start again. You've only got what you can work with, so it's not the best unless you can fashion, uh, fan f made fashion something better to hold it. So you do the same with this. If I can find it, uh, you rotate these around to that alcove or cut out bit. Uh, is over that peg and you slide it on just slide it on there it does feel as if it if it should stay on there tight but 
sometimes I have problems of it sitting in there and it doesn't want to stay. It just doesn't want to stay. <coughs> right. Now there is a there is a hole there. I don't know if that's for a peg or what it is. But I think there's a way you're supposed to put this in and have it and rotate it and have it as a gun through that little alcove piece. So you open these up and you're gonna lower this onto there, but how you put this in exactly I'm not sure. Um that's annoying. Ah, I think I know how. That's what the hole's for. It goes onto that peg there. You, you put it onto that peg there. That that's what you do with this. See, it goes onto that peg there. And I wonder what that little circular hole was for. There's a peg there that this goes on to. Um, and now you move these up out the road. See, see what I mean? You're, you're getting there. Uh, these are supposed to come down over there and it will hit against that and dislodge these off of them pegs that are suppo it's supposed to be on. And you lower it down, you're supposed to peg it together, you lower this down. Now these are supposed to peg in and this is all supposed to peg in. So you're supposed to try and straighten that as best you can. It doesn't it doesn't always fit together. And these bits are supposed to peg into little bits in the bottom here. That's how you get them, but it doesn't it doesn't it really does not hold together very well. Um it's a, it's a, it's a nightmare. These are supposed to peg in to slots in here. There's tabs and it's supposed to peg in there, but again, getting that tab into that slot is just not gonna work. It's it's just not gonna peg in and it doesn't peg in it doesn't stay in there securely it's not tight to hold it so it just keeps popping out so I, I just do your best to try and uh, hold that in like that right now you lift this up you rotate it and you're supposed to have it down there but another thing is how I don't know how you're going to get that in there because um, it's going to hit against that. <laughs> it, it's going to hit against that. Which isn't very good. So it's a little bit annoying. I don't quite know how this is supposed to work. But there's a way you're supposed to put the gun where it comes out of there and I'm not 100% sure how you're supposed to do that but um, there is a way that it's supposed to have the gun in there like that it's supposed to um, see I, I don't know if that, if that bit can come out I don't think it can Um, but there is there is supposed to be a way that you have this gun coming out of there and I'm not 100% sure because I haven't figured out how you put that in there. There's no clearance to put it in there. There's no clearance whatsoever. So that's annoying. Um, I don't know if you can fit this in there I don't think there is um, not sure how you're supposed to fit that in there because the gun's supposed to stick out through the but you can see there's clearance issues here how exactly you're supposed to put these in there I'm not 100% sure hmm 
But I'll just have to have it up here just now because I'm not 100% sure how that's supposed to fit. Um, because there is clearance issues, but you can, you can have it like that. You can definitely ha have it like that. Um, rotate this bit around and, and have it up like that, but how you're supposed to have it around the other way, I'm not 100% sure. That's tricky because it's where the peg is, it's where these upper arm parts are and there's no way to, and you're just not going to have the clearance to put push that down. Um, I don't quite know how that's supposed to work. That's weird. But you can have that or you can use this gun and have it like that. You can have that on it like that. Okay, so that's that. But I'm not quite sure how you're supposed to put that gun in there. And you've got these upper shoulder parts in the road. There's not much room in there to put in like that. But that's him in his um, vehicle mode. Okay. It can roll. Although the front wheels are not because of this clearance issue with this front bit. It doesn't lock in up there very well. But you can get it to roll on a surface. And that's that. Again, I don't know. I can't seem to fit that in there. But it's supposed to stick out of there. It shows it in the box art. So I'm not 100% sure how you're supposed to do it. It does show it in the instructions, I would guess. But yeah, it does. But. How quite you're supposed to do it, I'm not 100% sure. It does say it, it was flat, but how you're supposed to do it with these arms in the road inside it, I don't know. That's all very strange. Um, I mean, it does show it that you can put it on the outside and lay it like that. You can definitely lay it on top. So there's nothing in the instructions to show, but you can rotate it and put it inside. How you quite do that with the arms in the road inside of there when it doesn't have the clearance, I do not know. You know, like that. But it does show it as part of the transformation instructions that you can have it on top. You don't have to have it inside it. But it is supposed to be like that. But the instructions show on that on top, but like I say, that there's clearance issues inside there that I can't. You're never going to have that lid closed, so or roof section closed. So very very weird. But there it is. There, that's the best I can do with it just now. Obviously, if it has that on it, you could fit that on it. But there we go. Give me a minute, and there they are together in the vehicle mods. A pity I couldn't fit the big huge long gun in that one, but there we go. But there they are in the vehicle modes. So hold together. Um, yes, the issue I had with this one is, I'll take this off, you lift that up, is that pops up like that, and that pops up like that. So you push it like that, and it goes like that. And it's just this will not hold together, and, and this bit part pop likes to pop off as well. Uh, I can just keep that bit off, but that's the issue is that hinge there is stuck like that, where that pops out, or that pops up, that pops out, so you couldn't get that closed the same way you can close that one down. You may not can lock it in, but you can at least close it down. But yeah, that's why I didn't bother doing a video review of this. And it, and, and with that one, it's covering the same mould anyway, so you're not getting that much difference. And I'm showing this one off and this one. So yeah, I have got this. You can get it in Smith's Toys or online, but for those that don't already have it by now, but maybe it's just a QC issue with mine. But that's what that does. It doesn't lock down and it would... I just felt it. it's no, no point doing a video review when you've got that noticeable 
QC issue so there we go that's why I didn't bother doing it but I've covered that one which basically covers this because they're both off the same mould so there we go and that's that okay give me a minute so that that's it there they are back in robot mode so I'll just end this video now so that has been Transformers Studio Series number 26 World War 2 Bumblebee obviously we've got Hot Rod there as well uh, you've seen the better third party uh, World War 2 Bumblebee with Toy World I think it is they're going to bring out Hot Rod to World War 2 as well as Barricade uh, I've seen the grayscale uh, uh, things of those so they'll be coming whenever they decide to release them but I don't know the situation with my job now because of the coronavirus you know and and uh, the Scottish government said that some stores are closing now so Smith's Toys might be closing because it doesn't it's only essential ones like food and essentials during this coronavirus uh, period that we're going through um, that are going to stay open but B&M stores provides food so and essentials like that so it may stay open so you can pick this up there still they may stay open um but yeah everyone's to stay in everyone's shutting down i don't know if i'm going to get a job or not i don't know uh so i don't know when my next video is going to be or if i'm getting it getting any new figures this year at all no idea we'll have to wait and see there's they're all huge question marks um Yes, there is issues with these, but as you've seen, they're huge nitpicks. But picking up at B&M is cheaper than picking it up at full retail price that it first came out as. You know, you're almost cutting that price in half compared to what you did pay for it. I would definitely pick it up that way. Uh, wait till it comes out in sale if you're not in the UK and it's not at a budget price in a store in whatever country you're in. Um, especially both of them. Or, you know, get it online. I think online will be the way to go because of the coronavirus stuff just now it's going on. Um, but if you do manage to get to a store that is still open and has them at a budget price, not full retail, pick it up there. They're definitely worth getting. They're definitely the better modes of these modes there. The robot modes, I would say. Obviously, if you want more screen accurate, you go for Toy Worlds, one that I've got. Still issues there as like addressed in the video, uh, but it's it's more screen accurate, and they're going to be doing their hot rod toy world, and they're doing barricade apparently. So we'll get them. They'll be coming out whenever they decide to release them. So that's that. Okay, it's been a long winded video. It's at thirty three minutes, <laughs> but I wanted to get everything in because this might be my my last video for a long time. Uh, I don't know when my next one's coming. I don't know what's happening with work just now because of the coronavirus. Uh, and I don't know if you're able to get figures apart from online at the moment. Uh, if, what, if stores are going to be open to you to go in there and look and buy. I don't know. Like I said, B&M should because they do supply food and essentials as well as toys. So they might be in the category where, it, where they stay open. But... Um, in your area, I don't know. Everything might be shut. You might only be able to order online. You can still order Transformers online that way. Um, but that's that. And I know they'll probably do a reduced postal service. I don't know how the postal service is running or the courier service is running during the coronavirus. That could also be affected. So we've no idea. Nobody knows. Um, but that's that. So for the time being, I better not go any longer. This will be an hour. That is me. So have a stay safe, stay indoors, guys, if you can. If there's any way to get a transformer that you're wanting, that's online, it seems to be the only way to go at the moment. Uh, do so. Like I said, I don't know how bad it's going to affect couriers to get that item to you. If there's going to be delays, depending where it's coming from, those sort of things. No, nobody knows these answers. So. You'll just have to look online for people that have tried to get items, whoops, and look on the forums and all that that you may be 
uh, a part of so you'll just have to they could probably answer better than I can and this thing does not want to stand that's better so that's me so stay safe take care hopefully I'll have some sort of work sometime and I can get more figures like I said the to toy world of that I wouldn't mind the World War 2 and the barricade and the barricade one but We'll have to wait and see what happens. It's unknown at this time. Okay, so uh, I know I've been going up, whittling on for an hour. So that's me. Thank you very much. Thanks for the, thanks for the, keep watching me, guys, if you can. Uh, and that's it. You'll just have to keep uh, because YouTube, because I've got this as classed as for kids. You're not going to get notifications. You're not going to be able to comment. So. Uh, that's another thing <laughs> I nearly forgot to say. So, I've no idea. Uh, it may not notify you whenever I do in future, or if I do in future, upload a new video. It will not tell you. You'll just have to check manually. Okay, but for the time being anyway, that's definitely me this time signing out. Thank you very much. Stay safe. Bye, bye for now, guys. Bye for now.